Professor Ozodim Manwala, the president of the ADF Foundation, has said regional autonomy is the only solution to Nigeria's problems. According to him, with the Nigerian condition, the political structure in operation would not produce the expected leadership that would advance genuine leadership. Ozodim has said the solution is to have self-determination for all various agitating groups in Nigeria, which is to allow the houses govern and organize themselves, just like others should be allowed to take charge of what is happening in their region or state. Earlier, former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Dr. Lisa Agbakuba S.A.N., had also advised that Nigeria must develop or devolve powers and return to regional autonomy to overcome the crisis hampering its development. According to him, regional autonomy would resolve the country's diversity challenges. Well, joining us to discuss this is Dr. Law Mefo. He is a forensic and social psychologist and a fellow of the Abuja School of Social and Political Thought, TS. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, uh, sir. Thank Good you. Evening. Thank Good you evening. for hosting me. Great. Do you agree with this ideology of devolving powers back to regional government and taking us decades backwards uh, as opposed to where we are even though we we call it a federal system of government but it is a unitary system of government will that in any way um or how will that in any way uh, change the course of things in nigeria yeah it certainly will change a lot and um because if you do a throwback you will uh, see clearly that uh, nigeria uh, phenomenally grew um, economically, socially, politically uh, when uh, we enjoyed the regional autonomy. But uh, since um, the collapse of the First Republic to the present uh, time, Nigeria has uh, progressed um, to uh, the state uh, structures you have now, 36 of them. The regions we had then were only four. So when you compare uh, the number of uh, states today, uh, 36, vis-a-vis uh, -vis, um, the four uh, regions, you can see the phenomenal uh, growth, uh, if you must call it that. Um, yes, uh, the, the situation is like um, the cat and um, the cat and the, the, and the mouse, uh, the, the, the rats, they believe that um, if uh, they could uh, bail uh, the cat, to warn them of uh, its advance, that the, the solution uh, to their problem would uh, be um, in place. Hmm. Uh, but the question remains, uh, who would uh, bail uh, the cat? Hmm. It's the same thing here. How do you return to regional uh, autonomy? Um, I don't think it is uh, feasible, even though it's terrible. What I think we should be looking at now is uh, um, devolving uh, powers to the point uh, where the state uh, states, as you have them today, as federating units, would enjoy the powers enjoyed by the regions then, not mm -hmm. necessarily uh, collapsing uh, the states again into regions. Because uh, it is bound to meet with very stiff uh, resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the reason you have the um, states, up to 36 of them, and the pressure to create more is because um, many um, ethnic uh, minorities are crying of a marginalization. Mm -hmm. So if you want to move uh, the states back to regions, the, you know, the, 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 the people will resist it. But, 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 Okay. If you want to move the southeast to a region now, a state like Ebony, we resist it. Mm. You know, because they believe they are marginalized um, in a, 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 a bigger um, Igbo um, a regional uh, structure. You know, and it is the same thing you will find everywhere. Ibo, a, 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 a Ebony people are Igbos. So if you go to a, a place like um, Central, you know, not Central, where you have uh, more than 150 uh, ethnic groups, you can see that the cry and resistance will be much more, more, much more obvious. So what you do is not necessarily going back to regionalism. I don't think it is feasible anymore. Okay. What you Let have me... to do is to, is to move the powers enjoyed by the regions to the state. Okay. It's simple. It's as simple as that. Let me the let me let me let me take you back ask, to yeah. something that former President Goodluck Jonathan said. Because again, I noticed that every time we have 
it's close to election or we get to campaign season, we throw around the issue of restructuring and it becomes the word for campaign. But right after that, nothing is done. APC at, at some point as a party had had a restructuring conference of sorts or a committee. The report from that committee is gathering dust somewhere. We've had constitutional conferences back and forth. We've had the national confab. Nothing has been done with the reports that came from all of those. So I ask you, I mean, because President Goodluck Jonathan, former President Goodluck Jonathan is saying restructuring alone cannot solve Nigeria's problem. So again, I ask, can we resort to restructuring? But what else do we need to add as an extra, you know, um, sweetener to the deal to help you, us douse the tension you know, that we're facing now? You, you, you see, it, the uh, former president, Jonathan, uh, has not been fair to Nigeria. He was the one that uh, uh, campaigned at the uh, 2014 uh, National uh, Conference. And the CONFAB came away with uh, well over 600 uh, prescriptions and recommendations to deal with all the problems of Nigeria. And uh, he didn't implement it in one line. And he's saying uh, restructuring cannot solve the uh, restructuring, they look, cannot solve the country's uh, problem. Deal with restructuring. Then you move to the other issue. Restructuring simply means restoring Nigeria to federalism. Simple. You know, those who don't understand what restructuring means, restructuring means restoring Nigeria to federalism. Nigerians set out as a federal system. But as of today, Nigeria is a unitary system. Nigeria is federal, only in name. Look at our constitution. The exclusive list has uh, about 68 items exclusive to the federal government. And then the concordant list is about um, 36 uh, flimsy items like marriage and uh, stuff like that. And, they, and even at that, the, the, the concurrent list is still uh, uh, retained as concurrent. Concurrent here means that uh, even the federal government can also uh, legislate on those items that uh, the states can legislate on. And there is no residual list. What that means is that Nigeria is clearly a unitary system in a federal environment. Mm -hmm. Simple. Devolve the powers to the states. Buhari has started it because uh, Buhari has um, uh, moved the uh, electricity from a uh, uh, exclusive list to concurrent list. He has moved railway from exclusive list to concurrent list. You know, we need to move more. We need to move ports to concurrent list. Mm. You, you, there, there are things that if you move to concurrent list, regional integration, uh, economic integration becomes possible. You don't need political integration. What mm. you need is economic integration. Let me give you an example with the Southeast again. If you move ports, if you move ports to a concurrent list, the, 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 the uh, Anambra state government and the Imo state government can cooperate and they dredge the Orange River uh, it, that uh, is about 18 nautical miles into the open sea and have direct access to the sea. You know, but they can't do that now without the federal government uh, approving, not even doing it directly. So, and again, they don't have the uh, power to, uh, to give themselves electricity. They can, they can acquire OG, OG dam. They can do something about the coal in Enugu and give uh, the, southeast, the entire Southeast uh, electricity. That is, that is what we mean by devolution of power. And so now you can't do that. But how? Because but but but, 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 but Mr. Mefor, don't you think that that's also part of the issue of political will, whether we like it or not, political restructuring and mindset, mindset restructuring? Because I think that governors are more happy to go cap in hand to Abuja every month to get monies as opposed to looking within their states, even though we know that we're very blessed on every side right across this country. You are absolutely right. There is no political will. It, that is why the case of uh, former president, uh, uh, good luck, uh, Jonathan, is pathetic. Because he had mo the most beautiful uh, uh, document in uh, the 2014 CONFAB report. 600 and something prescriptions. And he implemented not one. That is a problem of political way. It's obvious. And many, if I'm more than half of those prescriptions, do not require constitutional amendment. They meant that they required only administrative presidential fiat. And he was the executive president of Nigeria and did nothing. Mm. So when you talk about political will, absolutely that is what they did. In fact, 
So it, no matter how we vilify Buhari, Buhari is the one that has actually started the devolution of powers. I've given you two instances, two, two examples. He has moved the electricity to, from the exclusive list to concurrent list, railway as well. A, a region like Southeast should be able to come together and give themselves electricity. They don't need to wait for the so-called national grid. They can, they, they, they can draw a ring, a, a rail ring, to connect the five southeastern states. Southwest can do the same. Not, not west, not east. All these things can regionally happen. You don't need to have a, a, a single governor for the regions for you to achieve integration. Economic integration is what we need. Mm. And once you devolve powers from a, a more critical powers from a exclusive to concurrent, regional integration becomes very simple, okay. very easy. Well, and I've given an example with three things, you know, electric, electricity or power, as you may want to call it, you know, ports, ports, very, very important to have access to the sea is very critical for any region that wants to really integrate. Mm -hmm. And railway, railway is, for example, uh, the northern part of the country that don't have uh, access uh, to the sea, you know, can use railway to ring themselves up and connect right. to the southern part of the country. That is okay. what we need. Okay. We need political will. We need leaders. Okay. And that is what we don't have. We don't have we don't have critically thinking and strategically planning. Yeah. Well, I want to say thank you. Uh, Dr. Law Mefo is a forensic and social psychologist and a fellow of the Abuja School of Social and Political Thought. Thank you so much, Dr. Mefo, for speaking with us. And that's it on the show tonight. I want to thank you for being part of all our conversations. And if you want to um, play back some of our previous episodes, just go to Plus TV Africa on YouTube. Like and subscribe. I'm Mary Anna Kun. Have a good evening.